for my camera boys <laughs> who've been hand-picked for their effeminacy. <laughs> <laughs> I've decided that Neighbourhood Watch is going to be strictly for non-entities only. <laughs> and here they are. Hello, girls! <laughs> Hello, girls. Oh, I said I, I wanted ordinary women in my audience. And <laughs> My dreams have come true. <laughs> oh, they have. I don't want men because men are a little bit of a disappointment when it comes to the crunch. They are not too much on top, most of them, and they're such, they're such bad losers, aren't they, ladies? And in the game show of life, they have to be losers, of course, and they have to be winners, but above all, they have to be contestants. Yes, we need three contestants now, and I'm going to choose them. I'm going to choose them. I'm going to choose them using my psychic powers. <laughs> yes, isn't it spooky to think in your midst are going to be my three contestants for tonight? I'm going to use this lovely gladdy. It's not really a gladdy. It is, in fact, a special device that's been designed by Q. You remember Q, who used to work for James Bond? He's a, a very old man now. He's completely lost his marbles, as a matter of fact. But this is a heat-seeking gladdy. You know, it'll, it seeks anything that's a bit hot. It might even find flushes for me, you never know. It's my purple possum picker. I'm going to see. Oh, it's luring me over here. Oh, oh. You see, it has a mind. You! What's your name? What is your name? Angela. Angela. Hello, Angela. Oh, Angela. Where are you from? Elm Park in Hornchurch. Elm Park in Hornchurch. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry, but a member of my staff once went there, so we <laughs> we can't have col oh, col oh, it's c moving over <laughs> here now. <laughs> you. <laughs> What's your name, darling? Um, Maggie. Hello, Maggie. Where are you from? Leighton. Leighton. <laughs> I've not been there, but I hear it's gorgeous. <laughs> Stand up, Maggie. Stand up, darling. Maggie, how exciting. Oh, oh. <laughs> you! <laughs> What's your name? Jackie. Hello, Jackie. Hello. Where are you from? Farnham in Surrey. Farnham in Surrey. And that's so nice, too. It's simple and it's effective, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it is. Stand up, darling. This purple possum picker, somewhere around here. Oh. And a haunted looking woman here. <laughs> Seems to be moving. Moving towards you, darling. You! What is your name? Dot. Dot. Stand up, Dot. How lovely. <laughs> You're not such a dot. I, I, I... Come on, girls. Down you come. This way, my three contestants. Bitch, good. Take these ladies off to have their microphones fitted. <laughs> oh. Sister Bedgood has taken the contestants off to give them a little light sedation. <laughs> that 
shave them even and a cup of tea and pop in their little hidden microphone. He's getting them all ready to play this game. We don't want women having nervous breakdowns all, all over this carpet. <laughs> While they're gone, let me tell you what Neighbourhood Watch is all about. It's about homes, but above all, it's about Dot's home. Remember Dot? The one in the trousers, the rather, well, cuddly woman. <laughs> <laughs> well, she doesn't know this, but this show is all about her home. At this very moment, I have a camera unit outside Dot's house. <laughs> Look, are you there, Trevor? Are you... Yes! <laughs> Dot's bedrooms, her cupboards, her drawers, her alcoves, her nooks and crannies. In a few moments, possums, in a few moments, Dot will be taking you and the entire world via satellite on a tour of her home. She doesn't know anything about this at the moment. She's out of the back. Oh, she's getting ready to come on. She's powdering her nose and making herself pretty and she's thinking, oh, what a lovely night I'm having, isn't it? <laughs> isn't, it isn't it spooky to think in a few moments she'll be in a living hell? She <laughs> well, lucky darling. Oh, they're coming back now. Uh, let's, uh, let's see now what wonderful prizes can be won on Neighbourhood Watch. Show us, please, Madge. <laughs> Yes, girls, on the show, you may win this Ferrari 348 TV. <laughs> Plus, our runner-up could be lucky enough to take home a lifetime's unlimited air miles on Concord at twice the speed of sound. Also available to be won, all the jewellery you can carry out of Rockmills in a room. Last, but by no means least, a scrummy box of black magic chocolates minus all the soft centers. Well, straight on with the game. Got your fingers on your buzzers, girls? All right, a simple practice round. Now, first question, who lives... You ready, girls? Who lives in this house? Jackie. The Queen. The Queen, yes. <laughs> Wonderful. Come on, girls. Maggie, Dot, you've got to do better than that. Who lives in this house? <laughs> Apollo. <Yes>. Apollo. <laughs> Apollo. <laughs> well, he might have lived there once. <laughs> Mostly Japanese tourists these days. But it's a very good answer, Dot. Very, very good warm-up answer. Let's try for the third one. A little more difficult, you're clever girls. <laughs> this might be a little more difficult. <laughs> Who lives in this house? No, a nicely dressed woman like you. <laughs> no, no, no I, I didn't mean it quite like that, but I... I mean, that could be hundreds of houses in London. Let's face it, Dot. <laughs> well, I'm afraid if it is your house... I mean, I picked it from a helicopter at random. <laughs> it's a chance in a squillion, but you... I'm afraid you're disqualified from the oh, game, no. Dot. Because you can't play this game if you live in that house. You must sit over here. You might win a complimentary prize. You sit there because we're going to ask a few questions about this house. Not that I believe for a second that this is Dot's house. I think she's pulling my leg. But we'll have a few little predictions about it. It's a nice snap of your home, anyway. Yeah. 